Haiku Beta 2 is out and after two years I think it is time, the perfect time to take a look at what is new in this Vita version of Haiku. So let's get started. So let's take a look at Haiku Beta 2 and I'm starting a bit unusual here with the installation process. First of all because it changed. You can see things are a bit different here and one of the newest additions to Heiko Beta 2 is the installer that has been refined. You can see we have the options to run the installer or to boot to the desktop and we can choose our language to boot into. I can choose my key map here. I will choose the, the German one if I can find it because I have a German, German keyboard layout. And I just run the installer and you can see, okay, of course, welcome to the installer, continue. And another thing that has been refined is the support for NVMe SSDs in particular. So you can see I don't have any, um, uh, any file system here. So I show you quickly how to set up partitions in uh, Haiku for installing Haiku. I'm installing this in a virtual machine here. What I want to do is create a new file system, a B file system here in this case, and I'll just call it Haiku. That's okay for me. Write changes, eight gigabytes, okay, has been formatted. And this is basically what you have to do. You can go out here, you can choose this as our target. And now the new option in beta two is the show optional packages, where we have the option to simply disable stuff that we don't need. So you can see here a list of different packages that we have and if we don't need certain things we can just simply disable it if you want to. But for the purpose of demonstrating how fast, how quickly Haiku can install, I just click on begin and I talk, I'm not even sure if I'm able to finish this sentence before it is installed. You can see it is installed already. <laughs> so and now I can simply hit restart. Up on reboot, you can see that everything is pretty much installed. There are some new item, uh, items here, icons on the screen, quick tour and user guide. You can see they got a new icon here for the user guide, for example. It's pretty much the same user guide that we had before, I think. Let's go. Yes, it's the same user guide that we had before. And uh, yeah, this is uh, web positive, the web browser of Haiku. And this has been also improved a lot actually for this second beta release and should work a lot faster and a lot better now with modern websites just like for example youtube.com let's just try and see first of all it is quicker in opening up those websites and it is also better in rendering them because of the new uh, webkit engine that is used here and we can for example click on uh, Marquis Brownlee's iOS 14 video here and it should be able to play it back. Also you might hear <laughs> the advertisements uh, sound so it runs without any problems also with sounds. We cannot go into full screen, still a problem here I would say, but we can go into the cinema mode which looks like this and yeah we could go here like this, make it a bit like a full screen. And it is a bit down when it comes to, I think it should, should be, oops. So the configuration of the player is not <laughs> easy, easily possible as you can see it. So it's going to 360p, which is a bit of a bummer, but in general, this runs pretty nice. We can just go to the heikos.org website and uh, see more information about the operating system here as well. And let me also check uh, if you can go into preferences and change the resolution because we have some kind of four by three nostalgia resolution here. Let's bump it up to 1080p and hit apply and this runs and looks way cooler now. So as you can see here, of course we can still uh, configure our icons, so icon view, and we can make the icons a lot bigger. 
uh, how about uh, 96 by 96 okay so we have lots of cool icons here new icons the quick tour is very interesting so apparently something new that Heiko added for beta 2 the quick tour that explains the basics of an application uh, for example of the title bar close button double click to hide or minimize uh, to zoom or maximize a border can be dragged to resize and here's the resize border as well so yeah very very good and also some shortcut keys explained here so you have the option to use alt uh, for your shortcut keys alt c for copy or you can also go to the more traditional way control c for copying stuff you can configure this there's the twitcher the option to simply change between uh, running applications and uh, the team monitor so pretty much good documentation even of the windows stacking feature which allows you to stack certain windows as you can see a nice animation that shows you how it works and we could try that i also already tried it on um, before and showed it to you before so let's see if this will work here yeah we can stack two windows together now i can see the tabs make sense no? and i have my web browser here and i have my home folder here and can quickly um, switch between them then the workspaces are explained here as well how to switch between workspaces a window tiling is explained i can show you this as well let me get this out of here oh this is i think a bug Ah, it's a graphical glitch here. Uh, so I have those two windows here. I can snatch them together at this edge. You can see this edge becomes um, darker gray. And now I can move them side by side. I can maximize them side by side. I have to then, of course, I can uh, move them around. I have to, of course, set the size as well. I can make them smaller as well if I like to. I, uh, you can see I can resize both of them and uh, how do i resize the i can only move them apparently i have to think resize from here yes i can resize this one window and uh, yeah so this is possible as you can see here window management in haiku is pretty nice and pretty good and i find it very interesting that there's now a haiku tour describing all of those uh, very cool features of haiku then there are replicants so the option to put some applications that have a little wrench here, a little hand, I think it is, uh, to drag and drop it onto the desktop to have it as a replicant, which is basically a widget, and single window navigation uh, that can be activated as well in the browser. Otherwise, the browser will just open up new um, folders, uh, basically. So uh, what has changed in Haiku? we have some optimizations when it comes to the desk bar so this is the desk bar where we have all the applications and where we have also the version number here you can see beta 2 fresh freshly installed what we can do now is drag this and you can see we can make it bigger here but we can also switch to a more compact format by dragging this edge up and now you can see we have a more compact even more compact form where we have here the button we have here the list of all running applications and here we have our tray bar and of course we have the option to uh, drag where do we drag it to go back that's interesting there we can drag it to go back into this position or we can drag it to go into this position which is basically like a windows 95 uh, menu so very flexible very fast very quick very interesting to use then of course we have some improvements that I cannot really show you that have something to do with the display and the scaling. I'm not sure if I go to screen, we, can, we don't have a scaling option here right now, but in general there's also the option to scale the uh, system. So improvement in high DPI support has been integrated so you can scale it properly on 4K screens as well without any big issues then the input support has been revamped we have now the option to uh, select our mouse type so if you have uh, 
mouse buttons you can see they are mapped like this one two and three and we have the option to set our double click speed the mouse speed and the mouse acceleration but we can go up with the buttons depending on our mouse that we have up to five buttons okay this doesn't look really uh, like the mouse that would have five buttons but you get the idea so you can set this up and then use uh, the back button on your mouse for example to browse uh, via the system and this goes for usb mice as well as for um, ps2 mice because Heiko, of course is backwards compatible with older systems and is available also a 32-bit system and you can have very very old machines one other thing that has been improved in regards to the um, system itself are the available apps the apps that are available in their own Heiko Depot we just start Heiko Depot also Heiko Depot I think has been slightly changed and it is refreshing currently the list of applications you can see even in this 32-bit version that I'm running here we have lots and lots of new packages the 64-bit version has even more packages because it is based upon a new GCC base which allows you to simply compile more packages but even though this 32-bit version is able to run old BOS applications as well as they were running on BOS itself and also new modern uh, applications as well just like for example uh, ocular as, as, as PDF viewer and uh, several other applications so you can see some applications here like army knife and very old application very my, one of my favorite applications when it comes to um, doing uh, tagging of, of, of files and uh, mp3 files awk files and so on you can see you can add a logo in here and uh, here for example we have the radio tux uh, screenshot very funny and um, yeah I could interview here so yeah maybe this is a secret hint that they want to be interviewed again on radio talks we'll see uh, some classic applications we have here we have an email client we have the b book we have because we have visa before so stuff that people would know that used um, bos or haiku um, or bos based operating systems b potter as, as podcasting client something to capture the screen here B share is still available burn it now if you have a cd burner still or dvd burner you can use it caligra suite is here which is a port so this is based on Qt um, and is the office suite that uh, comes uh, from kde and here you can see so you have the option to get to an office package as well uh, there's a chat application so there are several featured applications here uh, and yeah what you have to do let's 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 grab maybe army knife what you have to do is just click install and it will be installed very very easily you have a rating system here as well you can rate the application see the system wants me to install some other packages as dependencies like TechLib, Neon and Music Brains. I say just okay, apply changes, they will be installed. And the cool thing is this package system I talked about before already is using the new Haiku package format and basically all the applications are using using this and allow for a very simple uh, update process of the operating system and installation and deinstallation process because all those packages rely or are saved in your home folder no they are not <laughs> maybe they are not in my home folder right now but should be um, in my home folder um, uh, but in this case the packages are installed now in the haiku system as you can see here and here you can see all the installed packages and um, you can see that these are uh, here's the new army knife that i just installed here as you can see the a bit better maybe you can make this uh, into an icon view 
64 by 64 there we can see here's the package that I installed right now and this package I can take a look at is just 336 uh, kilobyte big so it's a very small package you can see I can have uh, the option here to see various different um, information you can see the information dialog is a different one but I can see all the other packages that come with Haiku itself and if I don't like army knife anymore I just want to deinstall it uninstall it I can either use uh, Haiku Depot or what I can just do is just drag it out of here and if I move content okay it will be uninstalled will not be available anymore I just hit shift and move and now it should be gone and I shouldn't have um, army knife anymore as you can see here it is not here anymore I cannot start it uh, and execute it but if I just drag and drop it in here again uh, where did it go army knife where are you there it is <laughs> uh, it was a bit confusing for a second but there it is and uh, it should auto mount it again and it should appear here and as you can see there is army knife and click on it and executed so very cool feature that kind of reminds me of how to install packages or how to install applications in mac os but without the problems that the applications have to be very very big in size because uh, the dependencies will be grabbed as h package as well and so it had i think taglib as um, uh, dependency and here you can see the taglib package that it installed as well here and uh, the cool thing is that i have the option to just say if the new tag uh, if a new taglib comes out i can just replace the taglib here and um, in, in an ideal world i have the option that uh, army knife uh, if a newer version comes out that breaks something or that changes the user interface completely and I like the old version I can just keep my my version 5.1 here and can install in parallel a newer version for example very cool indeed and yeah a very interesting package system that Heiko introduced before but now with the uh, really great amount of applications available in Heiko Depot a viable option to for at least open source enthusiasts to try it out mm, this new version and this does not only include multimedia apps as you can see here but you can browse through um, games for example and you have lots and lots of games here as well uh, that you can try out and uh, simply install some uh, interesting games as well in this 32-bit um, version probably not as much games as in the 64-bit version and we have some video tools as well here uh, clockwork and very interesting uh, video editor uh, available uber tuber probably youtube application that allows us to play youtube videos uh, via an application as you can see here it is just simply uh, you can here just enter the youtube url and then play it back natively so also pretty uh, nice indeed there's so much more to haiku that I really really like to share and want to show you you can watch my previous videos about Haiku about the infrastructure how the B file system works in Haiku and all the clever things that Haiku really does here and these are only some of the changes and features that got into Haiku Beta 2 there's lots and lots of more things that has been improved here especially on the kernel level on the hardware level and of course on the application level as well uh, most of the applications uh, did not change in much in terms of uh, their design they are still like the good old BOS days and I think this is a really really good day uh, for us now to try out this uh, new Haiku version um, beta 2 I can recommend it for everyone to try it out at least in a virtual machine the ISO image can be downloaded and installed uh, pretty much very easily in a virtual machine just like I'm doing it here right now and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, thanks for watching like subscribe and until the next time bye